Hey everyone, Shaper 1000 here. Today, as you can see, we're on the creek bank again, or the channel, whatever you want to call this. Um, decided to do a little fishing. It's still hot, and it's like 6:30 at night. It's like 92. So, but as you can probably tell looks a little different that's because I'm in monkey spot she wanted to try my spot out so we're talking smack I said not only will I give you my spot I'll show you where to cast out and I did so hopefully Carmen don't come and get me on that one <laughs> stick around guys I'll be right back so hang on been here about five minutes monkey just came up had to get a knife because our chicken liver fish on tell you about that here in a minute Woohoo! <laughs> she down there saying be quiet Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. What do you see this? You should come up here and learn something. Ooh, he's a fighter. What? She's down there talking smack. You catching that turtle yet? You guys see that? Let's see. <laughs> got me a gar not as big as that one I caught but pretty good size gotta be careful with these things <laughs> alright let me let me kill the camera for a second. I'll get him out of here and I'll pick him up and show him to you. Right, I'm not going to weigh him because he's not that heavy, but let's measure him. Twenty-seven inches. Cool. Like I say, he's not that heavy, so I'm not going to weigh him, but. And a nice gar there. Uh, still not sure how to pick these things up because I've only caught this is only my second gar I've ever caught. So <laughs> all right. Anyway, here I'll get you close up of him there. Cool beans, 27 inches. Fish number one. All right, guys, I'm gonna get him in the water. I gotta fix my. I think I'm out of sinkers, so that one might be done. Old Yeller, the banana. That's what he did in my hook. So I gotta put another hook on him, and uh, I'll find some weights. And then, uh, 
we'll get back to it. That's why I don't like messing with these things. Whoops. And tea. Alright, I gotta hurry up and get him back my water so he doesn't stress out too much. Anyway, so what I was telling him was she came up because our bait's frozen, we freeze our bait, you know. Unless it's live worms or something like that, but uh, she didn't have a knife to cut it, so she came up to get a knife. I just gave her mine. I got always carry like three uh, yeah, I always carry three in my tackle box. Um, so I just gave her the one I was using. And uh, she no more and got down there. I kicked you guys on. We wasn't here. I'm telling you, five minutes. I, from the intro, I just baited up and cast it out. And she came up here. So I'll say five minutes. But, uh, so I just got cast it back out and um, we'll do a little bit of fishing here. So stick around guys, we'll see what we catch. I hear her down there talking to her camera. I heard something about a turtle and I heard her saying something about every time she throws her rod out. I don't know, I haven't had a bite since then so that might have been just luck. <laughs> well pretty sure it was <laughs> but I'm gonna tell her it was skill at least till she watches this video because she watches all my videos so I gotta be careful what I say on here <laughs> but yeah and the reason why I always have you guys on this side of me is because the Sun is behind you guys so you know be well way overexposed um, and I'm right-handed so if I put you here the Sun's down behind the trees now um, right back over there actually right directly behind me so if I uh, you know I'm right handed so as well I hear fish hopping around me but they, they sound small so let me see something here turn the light up a little bit there we go but see, I don't like that because I'm my left handed. Um, I'm right handed, my left hand. I'm not used to grabbing the camera and moving you out of the way, so. I think I'll just put you back on this side of me. Now you're a little bit too bright. There we go. So, anyway, if that's all I catch, that was well worth it. <laughs> It's funny because this is her spot. This is where she comes. She hasn't caught a fish out of here yet. <laughs> I'm here not even five minutes and I catch a 27 inch gar. Uh, that's pretty funny. She's been down there. I don't know if she's getting bites, but she hasn't caught anything yet. And I know this for a fact because she won't take fish off the hook. So I didn't hear, babe. Oh. <laughs> uh, and the last time, uh, she got caught up here somewhere. And she calls them nags instead of snags, but she got a nag, and she said her hook, her hook and lure came off, which is just a hook and sinker. But I said that's all right. So that's why she kind of left early the last time. But that's all right. I got her fixed up again. So anyway, guys, wish me luck. <laughs> just turned you guys on. Something my I just casted the banana rod out and it was acting real strange. So I was uh started reeling it in and started hitting and uh lo and behold there was a, a baby gar on there but he just he just got off so just as I turned you guys on. So let's see what we can do here. <laughs> The gar are hitting, so I'm surprised she hasn't got anything yet. Yeah, I was just setting my rod down, tightening the line up, and then it got loose, and I started tightening, and it started going out and letting go. 
I was like, that's a hit, and I just kicked you guys on. It's only been about four minutes <laughs> since the last time I talked to you, so. The gar are hitting, so I must have run into a school of gar. Kidding. There's a lot of ants down here, but there's a big ant pile about six inches tall over here, maybe four. Big ant hill. Uh oh. I think we just got another hit. Yeah, we did. Go some cranes. Yeah. She said, wow, did you see that? Yeah, they're very pretty. <laughs> I got them on film. We'll catch him and be done with it. I was right. She said the turtle's messing with her over there. Uh-oh. Something hitting on this thing. I better check my bait because I'm just using a little tiny piece with a small hook. Number four. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Here we go, guys, I'm getting another hit. This one's on the Black Max. I'm telling you guys, get you a little Zebco 33 and a cheap rod. It won't let you down. Must let go. He was running with it. He was started pulling my pole. I was trying to turn you guys on and then I better check my bait. That's still on there. Oh no. There we go. Okay, let's get casting back out there. About in the same spot. Give it a minute. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, she's hollering for me something about, she wants me to check something out, a gator or something, I don't know. What? Check what out? Huh? Where? Right there. You just see his head. Just a little bit. See him? I didn't bring my glasses. No. Cause you can zoom on it better than me. That camera will zoom. I did, and I couldn't find it. Couldn't get him in there. Let me see your glasses. It's like he's a ghost, but he moves. When I bring my rod up, he'll he'll come towards me, and then you'll stop. Too much reflection on the water. Yeah. I don't want him. Oh yeah, that's a baby gator. Is it? Oh yeah. 
No, it's a baby gator. So he'll be alright. He won't hurt you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. How many have you caught? How many you think I've caught? <laughs> How many have you caught? She don't like gators. I'm scared to death of them. That's alright. It's just a baby. It's a baby gator, so... Oh, shit. Hang on. I gotta take her glasses back. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, so... Came back and getting a small hit on the banana rod. Still like 90 degrees out here. I don't know what time it is. It's probably 7.30 I imagine now. Huh. Just small tapping. If he take it all. What? What is? He's coming. Could go down there and net him and bring him up here. Come on, baby. Just got to hit on the Black Max over here. And she don't understand a gator won't chase you. Look, if you're down at the edge of the bank and a gator lunges at you, if he don't get you, he's not going to chase you up on land and chase you around. If he don't get you that first snap, he's done. Um, yeah, they won't, you know. They're opportune eaters. They're not really predators per se. They don't creep around looking to eat you. But if you happen to get near one, he tries to get you and he misses, that's it. He's not He's not going to chase you or nothing like that. And that thing, I know it looks big in the camera, but I'd say he's probably maybe 12, 18 inches. He's just a baby. They're both hitting here. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I walked up here about oh there's my chair right there and uh, I heard a big fish jump up here so I came up here thought I'd throw this rod in here and I caught what I think somebody's fishing trap of course that's seaweed on there but I don't know if you can tell but it goes all the way across the bank hooked on something over there so someone had something tied up there like a fish trap that hurt all right so I gotta go put damn that hurt all right I gotta go put a another sinker on this thing but hate when they do that a lot of times they'll run them from somewhere clear across the river or creek or whatever and then what they'll do they'll have a whole bunch of hooks on it and they'll bait them all up but when they don't come back and check them or when they're done they don't uh, they don't um, you know take their stuff off and take it out of the water makes me mad look at my hand that's from where that uh, hook just flew back and hit me. So, all right, I gotta get this straightened out. I'll be back with you. Got a hit on the Black Max here. And he's taking it. Oh, he got off. Man. <laughs> well, 
Must not have been very big. He was hitting kind of hard, but could have been another baby. Uh, could have been another baby gar. See if he'll hit again. Yeah, he's hitting already. Whatever it is. Got a backlash in my reel here. Gotta get that taken care of. Or it's gonna give me problems. And there's my problem. There we go. Got it. Yes, it... He's still hitting. Something out here that wasn't there before. It might be that little gator from that was down there. I don't know. Oh. That's something on the banana rod now. He was taking it, and then here I'm messing around, talking to you guys, not paying attention. Come on. Fish on. Doesn't feel very big. That's okay, we'll take it. Double hitter. Fish on this one. Double header. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Ooh Look at that cat. Alright, now I gotta get the one off off the banana rod. <laughs> Double header. <laughs> <laughs> Double header. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It looks like he swallowed my hook. All right, let me get these fish off of here. <laughs> Love them double headers. <laughs> I'm not going to weigh these. They're not very big. The one I caught on the Black Max, the first one, he'd be good eating size. Um, this one, nah, not unless it was a survival situation. All right, let me get them off the hooks and I'll be back with you. <laughs> Three. Got another hit on the Black Max. I just casted it out. And got that woman up here hollering for her dog again every evening about this time. Here, baby. Come on, baby. If your dog runs off, you need to tie it up. Come on. Stopped hitting all of a sudden. Bait's still on. Whoa. That's a rookie cast, wasn't it? <laughs> Might have my might have my brake a little bit too loose. All right. That's what I was doing. I was setting my brake when I got a hit on the banana rod. And, uh, 
I just always release it and I just turn my brake just till my bait or lure or whatever I'm using just starts dropping down on its own they say that's how you're supposed to set them I've always set them that way and I've always had good luck that way so but Looks like the catfish are hinting. Of course, you can tell it's getting darker, darker out. It's not dark yet. That's the moon up there. You got to see it just on the other side of this tree here. That's yeah. There's the moon. So, and right, I'm gonna cast this one, the black max out again, and then I'll be back with you. Yep, Gator's up here now. There he is. He's little though. About maybe a foot, 18 inches. Hope I don't catch him. But at least he's not down there bothering her. Fish on. Woohoo! Oh shit. That was that gator. Or a gator. Damn it. One pan attention. Now I can see he's not out there anymore, so that was him. Oh, I wish I'd have got him up here though. I'm gonna count it because he was on the bank. I got all this stuff. I'm gonna count him, he was up on the bank. He's got me all tangled up here. All right, let me get this straightened out. <laughs> starting to get dark out now <clears throat> kind of it, it cooled down a lot it's supposed to get down the 70s low 70s somebody setting off fireworks over there that's pretty cool that's probably about a mile mile and a half away so haven't had a hit in about 20 minutes so we'll see what's going on Okay, guys, I think monkey's done because I think I just heard her say bye, y'all monkey's out, so. And I'm getting blurred up. My camera. 
it's getting blurry so uh, alright guys thanks for watching appreciate it sorry you didn't get to see the gator but you saw me catching that was definitely that gator I had the net in my hand and then he kind of took off and then when he came back he got must have got the hook out of his mouth I don't like catching them because a lot of fireworks going off over there But, you know, when it's gator season, I'll keep them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm out of here for now. We caught four items today, so I'm going to count that because he, he was on the bank. When he came off, he went down into the water. So, But he was up here. I mean, I just missed him by that far with the net. So, All right, guys. Uh, See if she needs any help, and then I'll back the truck up here and load my stuff. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye, and take care.